This is Spongebob's VOP Hero Series 2019 in Sarajevo, Bosnia and Herzegovina, and we're live on Fightbox. KOK Super Fight, Blue Corner, fight representing Romania, Andrei Minoyu. And our next Romania versus Bosnia matchup. Andre Minioi of Romania, three and two as a professional is the 23 year old. Says he really wants to put his knees on display. Feels that his knees are his special weapon. It wants to make a statement here in King of Kings, his KOK debut. Everybody making their KOK debut here in Bosnia. It's our first time in the country, but certainly won't be our last by the looks of things. Edin Sinanovic of Bosnia is two years younger. They both have similar experience inside the ring. He's a little bit shorter. Before the fight, he said that uh, he says he has unpredictable high kicks and that that's going to be his weapon. So Minui says he's got good knees. Sinanovic says he's got unpredictable high kicks now a lot of times what guys will tell you is not necessarily what they're gonna do who knows what they're actually gonna do some guys try to keep their game plans secret or will try to mislead you Lightweight action here at King of Kings in Sarajevo. My name is Daniel Austin here at ringside doing the English commentary, joined by Round one. Daniel Jubitsky doing the Polish. And I believe we are also on national Bosnian TV. And there are Bosnian commentators joining us as well at ringside. Boy, both these guys quite tall for lightweights. Right now. Another very tall fighter who is the champion in King of Kings, Henrikas Vikshreitis, currently holds the KOK Lightweight Championship. Whoa, look at this combination now by Edin Sinanovic. Both guys almost like clones of each other. Look at these two. Very tall, long, lanky fighters. Very short hairdos. I don't know if you can call it a hairdo. There's really nothing there. But Big difference here is that Sinanovic, whoa, in that southpaw stance, foot up the middle. Man, both these guys are not holding anything back here in round number one as he goes flying in with a knee.
movement inside the ring. Just out of range that time was Edin Sinanovic. Left hand down the middle, a right hand in return, and again, flying in with a knee this time is Minui. Whoa! Well, I'll tell you what, we got ourselves a fight, folks. Both guys really digging in, and there's a mean left hook there. That's the power hand, the left hand of Sinanovic. Good low kick, caught him coming in. Man, does he got some fire from the left side. It doesn't matter if it's his hands or his feet, but take a look at the outside of the right lead leg of Sinanovic. He has taken some punishing low kicks. You can see the effects on the outside of the thigh. Whoa, he got caught with a right hand too. Look at that combination. Six, seven, eight. He's just not stopping and the referee has no other choice but to move in and give him an eight cap. That was absolutely vicious. Oh, and he really uncorked the right hand. There it is, two big power shots going in now from Sinanovic. Upstairs, downstairs, just overwhelming him here with a very high volume set of offense there. What a strategy that was that paid off for Edin Sinanovic to Southpaw, who got his opponent trapped in the corner there. And there was nothing the Romanian could do about it. He got caught in the corner, and boy, did he pay for it. Both guys tried some flying knees that were sometimes successful, other times not. Look at this. How many punches was that? 13, 14, 15, who knows? If you're watching later on YouTube or something, you can go back and uh, watch that over and over, count how many shots actually landed there in the corner, but the referee saw enough after about 10 or 11 and decided to step in and gave an it count. So uh, an interesting opening round there. One has to wonder if this thing will actually make it to the uh, final bell or not. But at this point, even if it does, it's a 10-8 round in favor of Edin Sinanovic to kick things off here in our fourth of seven fights on the Fightbox KOK Hero Series. The second portion of the event will be coming up after that seventh fight, the KOK World Grand Prix. Oh, and he just kissed the canvas. He is out cold. His eyes rolled in the back of his head, and he just kissed the canvas. Oh, my. I can look right in his eyes right now here at ringside, and the lights are on, but there is absolutely nobody home. Holy cow. He kissed the canvas very, very hard. His head struck the ring right in front of me, and I could just hear his skull crash against the ring. He's, he done, this kid was out, absolutely out cold. He's still out. He's on Dream Street right now. He's dreaming. He has not woken up yet. They're pouring water all over him. He's, he's still completely unconscious right here. Oh, now he's opened his eyes. He just came around right now, just now. Yep, welcome back. Holy smoke. Let's take another look at it. Bam. Watch it. Watch him hit the canvas here. That is very dangerous. Oh my. Well. Both guys knew what they were getting into. That's the uh, unfortunate consequences sometimes of getting into a fight. A lot, a lot of times, you know, you, you watch the sport and, you know, sometimes events just kind of go by one after the other and you know, all the fights just kind of go to a decision. Nobody leaves with any serious uh, injuries and other times something like this happens. Oh my, 
Donata Simonitis, one of the first people to respond. He knew exactly what had happened. He's in the ring right now, trying to direct traffic. Boy, that was a moment. I'll tell you what, folks, he, he dropped here in a, in a neutral corner, literally right in front of my broadcast position. He, he was probably about a, a meter, a meter and a half away from me. And there was just nobody home. He was completely unconscious for at least a minute, I would say. And that, that, was, that was scary, but oh my God. One of the most crushing knockouts we've seen in a long time here at KOK. <laughs> Life on Fight Box. KOK Super Fight at the very second round after 36 seconds by knockout. The winner is Red Corner, Eddie C. That is one for the highlight reel, folks. Great show of sportsmanship between these two and a knockout that we will not soon forget. Boy, that is one for the record books here at King of King, folks. We'll be right back with more lightweight action right after this.